I think for me, the most like memorable shows that I've ever been to, like what makes them memorable are moments. So I always like when, I, when I'm talking to like young music, music people, young, young music makers, people that want to put on a really good show, I talk to them, okay, like what are your moments? Like how are you playing with your audience? There's an expected relationship and a dynamic. And if you can flip that on its head, if you can surprise somebody or make them laugh or, or you know, even if you, you know, you, you're changing the place where you're singing, you know, this is like, it's still the moment. Like it doesn't have to be much, but it does have to be something. Understanding the context in which you're playing is really important. So like knowing who's there and like, uh, and, and the vibe, I guess, and understanding like, who has come before too, right? And understanding the context of, uh, of what your audience is experiencing, not just the show that you're bringing, but also uh, what was the music playing before? You know, was there an opening act? Did you listen to them? Did you show up for them? That's important too, right? You know, to like, to build that music community, you know, we got to show up for our opening artists and we got to stick around to the end, you know? Another part of uh, my preparation process for a show um, that has been really important, especially when performing, you know, uh, on Turtle Island, you know, in North America, is to know uh, whose land I stand on. As an Indigenous person, like, I like to acknowledge that we are always on Indigenous land, you know, and everywhere we go, um, we, those cities and those towns are built upon Indigenous land. And um, there's Indigenous people living there um, that don't always see themselves and their communities reflected at these art centers or at these concert halls. And so there's this really, really great website called nativeland.ca. And it's like kind of like an interactive map and you can go check it out and you can just type in the city where you are. And then it will tell you like uh, Indigenous peoples who have been caring for that land for thousands and thousands of years. And, um, and I just use that as a way... Um, to acknowledge, to, so sometimes when, I, when I'm first talking to an audience, just a way to speak that into the room. When I think about like image, it's about like representation, right? And so, um, for example, like when I uh, was on stage for the Polaris Award, I wore this like big black cape and this kind of like high-waisted kind of like swimsuit diaper moment when i kind of took that out of the bag and showed my family like well backstage like i'm about to go on stage like here's the outfit my mom says oh honey you know i thought this was about the culture this project you know and i thought wow you know she forgot she forgot that this is the culture you know that that like Queer people and two-spirit people have always been an integral part of our communities and, and, and that trying to represent that in a contemporary way might push boundaries and it might, it might um, make people uncomfortable, but that is and has always been our role in our communities. And I think, uh, you know, extending that to how I uh, put myself on stage and put myself in front of a camera, hopefully other young indigenous people maybe even other young queer indigenous people will see that and say that's me like I, maybe i can do that too <laughs>